The intention of the game is both personally and professionally, if there is something that is blocking you from moving forward, either getting a raise, going for the next job, finding the next job, asking for promotions, connecting with your clients, whatever it is that's blocking you, I'm going to help you walk through that, unblock it so you can better connect. Does that make sense? So if you're a therapist and you had an issue as a child, which now blocks you from talking to your client and giving them, what's the word? Um, Feedback. Yes, uh, yeah. unbiased information. I'm saying, mm -hmm. okay, this is what you can do, what I suggest, because you have your own blockages. So we're going to walk you through that and unblock that. Now, in, in the future, what we want to do is work with clients uh, or staff again. So if you have a group of clients that are going through some issues where they're not connected in therapy, they're not opening, I'd come in, help you out. We play a round of games and see what's blocking them out. We unclog it spiritually so that they can now, in the real world, share and, be, and move on. Um, are they having problems with sexuality? Are they having problems with their medications? Going to doctor visits? Are they having phobias? Well, let's go in and figure it out spiritually, unclog it so that now you can come in and go, okay, well now let's move forward. Does that make sense? Any questions so far? Okay, I don't want to over explain too much because you're going to learn more as we go along. So, what we do in the game is, I start with red and go down. I'm going to, I'm going to pick a card. Now the interesting thing about the game, you'll notice is that there is no pre conceived idea of where we're going. We don't know what the theme of the game is because I'm picking the cards as we go along. I'll ask you the question. Rule number one, and pretty much the rule, be as honest as you possibly can. Nobody's gonna see your answers but you. And if you wanna share them with me, I intuitively will come in and go, okay, let's do a reading for you. Cause something's blocking it. So intuitively, let me work with you. And so if you're very logical and very scientific, please just play along. <laughs> Please, because if you start questioning everything and try to figure it out and what, it's not going to work because now you've made it scientific and you've completely blocked me from doing my job. My job is to walk you through it in a spiritual realm and go, let's really dig into it. What's really going on? Why are you holding on to that? If you, as a child, like I was bullied as a child, but I'm holding that to today, then I'm not going to allow people to criticize me or contradict me or say anything against me because I'm so offended by that that I'm just gonna walk away. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if you're very logical, please leave it at the door. We'll pick it up on the way out. <laughs> In here, we're gonna be spiritual and we just play along. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Any questions so far? Mm -hmm. No? All right. I see excitement. I feel excited. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. All right, so question number one, and you'll see as we go along, every question will connect. And I'm going to let you guys play with me because this is interactive. And since you're sitting here on my side, we're going to start with you. Go ahead and pick one of these cards for me, please. That one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And this is wow, no, that's a pretty card. All right. Now, there's also a numerology that I like to do. So if you want to put the number of the card, it'll make sense at the end. I promise. I promise. All right. So question number one. I am willing to quit a job and give up financial security. You can write the question if you need to, but I'll have it up here. I am willing to put a job and give up financial security in order to develop my personal growth. And you can just write yes or no, or you can write a little bit more than that. The number of the card is number nine. I'm gonna set a timer here, because I don't have a timer. Can you tell I'm getting nervous or am I getting nervous? If I, if I start sweating too much, just throw water at me. We're good. It's a loving group. Yeah, it's a loving group. All right. Number two. Ready? And as we go down the line, the questions get a little more technical and a little more. And this is part of the security. Each section has a name. The red is called security, if that makes any difference to mm -hmm. me. So this is pleasure. Pleasure. I'm willing to ask for a hug or for support when I feel I need it, even if it's not a very appropriate time. So, tying it up to number one. Number one is about creating your job if you're not financially secure. But that could also mean I don't feel secure in my job because there are people that are not my color, that are not my gender, 
that are older, that are younger. So will you, are you willing to leave the security of your job because you personally do not feel secure there or don't feel validated or don't, or don't fill in the blank? Does that make sense? It doesn't just have to be financial security. Number two, I'm willing, number 19, I'm willing to ask for a hug or support. So number one, I don't feel secure here. You know, am I willing to quit my job that pays me really well? It's really close to home, uh, allows me to come in late or leave early, whatever the case may be. But when I don't feel secure, am I willing to ask for some help? Is there openness in my job to, to go to Lindsay and go, I really need to talk right now because I'm feeling really sad, depressed, anxious, frustrated. I'm about to cry. Do you have that in your job? Does that make sense? Everybody going for it? Mm -hmm. If at any point it doesn't make sense, stop me. So, now that we've determined whether I'm, I can quit my job if I want to, and I'm willing to ask for help. Number three, question number nine, this is, I'm done, number six, this is energy. I have my energy under good control. So, we're gonna put these pieces together and every, it all goes together. Question number one, security number nine, I'm willing to quit my job because it doesn't meet the needs that I have, that I, it doesn't, doesn't meet everything I want. I just don't feel safe in this environment, but I'm gonna keep the job even though I'm frustrated, stressed out, and anxious at the end of it because it pays well, it's close to work, whatever. Number two, I'm willing to ask for help or a hug or some words of encouragement, or is there somebody that I can go to and go, oh my God, I feel like crap because John in the other office just said fuck again and I'm really frustrated, but I can't quit this job because it has great benefits, damn it. But I have it all under control. Does that make sense? So go answer answer your questions as we go along. Is it, is it making sense so far? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Daniel, what was the card number? Oh, oh number six. Two? And that's energy. So it was a nine, 19, and then six. Correct. Okay, we're going to green now. Green is relationships. I'm sorry, I didn't ask your names at the beginning. How rude of me. That's how, <laughs> that's how nervous I was. Thank you, Julie. Mm -hmm. Lori? Eric. Eric? Kian. Kian? Lauren. Lauren. Michelle. Michelle. Brianna. 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 That's a beautiful name. Thank you. Lindsay. Lindsay. Harpreet. That's cool, too. Thank you. And I'm Daniel, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a beautiful name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. So, number 12, this is relationships. I'm not sure I'm lovable. So as we, put, as we piece this together, I'm willing to quit this job, but oh, the security is so good. But I, I need to have somebody that I can go to for help. But don't worry, I've got this under control. Don't worry that I cry every day at lunch in the bathroom by, by myself. I've got this, I'm good. But then I, the probably, probably Johnny in the next office yells all the time and screams and cusses because nobody likes me in this office. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Very good so far. Sorry, what card was that? That was number 12. What were the categories? Of the, that one was relationships? Yeah, so the first one, red, number nine, security. Orange, pleasure, number 19. Yellow, energy, number six. And relationships, green, number 12. I had a power with my boyfriend before y'all walked in. I'm like, please tell me that I'm special and I love him. <laughs> What's going on with the screen? Remind me your name again? Kian. Kian. Everybody getting pretty deep in there in your answers? No. All right, so this is willingness. When I, feel, when I am free to do what I want, I realize it does not mean I am free to take advantage of others, but that I am free to create, and I may have—I may even have abundant resources to do it. So, sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> when I am free to do what I want, I realize this does not mean I am free to take advantage of others, but that I am free to create, and I may even have abundant resources to do it. 
So this is in your willingness. So now as you work through the office, we're talking about uh, the job security. It's everything, everything I need is here. So I'll put up with whatever I have to put up. And we're not saying that you have a bad environment, but uh, everything I have here, everything I need is here. It's financial security, uh, benefits, I'm close to home. I really like Pam, the receptionist, but Johnny next door in the office is a total dick and I don't know how to deal with him, but everything else is good. So, but I'm willing and I have somebody that I can go to. So as you think about it, do you have somebody that you can go to and go, I'm really stressed out right now, what can I do about this? Why? Because Johnny next door is being obnoxious again and I can't say anything because I'm new, because I'm a woman, because I'm a man, because I'm gay, whatever. What's the number on that one? The second one was number, or the last one. The last one was 21, sorry. 20. And then I have everything under control, but do you have everything under control? Or are you just kind of skating? Because if you just think you have everything control, are you doing your best job ever? Are you providing the best job for the client, the best information for the clients? Are you really going out there and representing Shanti the best way you possibly can? Because the moment you get a chance, you're like, oh, I love working there, but there's this guy. <laughs> God. That right away. <laughs> yes. But we realize that that right away takes some of the credit that we try to portray. Does that make sense? Yeah. The moment we open our mouths and say, everything is wonderful, but this dude, every meeting he takes the best cookies. So then, so then in relationships, I'm not sure if I'm lovable. So now we put everybody else's things on us. I am the victim. Am I lovable? Do people really like me? Because I never get invited to lunch. Why? Because I'm a vegetarian and everybody goes to eat ribs. Well, that, that, it's not that you're not lovable, it's just we're going to ribs. And then the last one, am I really pretty who I want? And I realize this does not mean I am ready to take advantage. Because now we've created a story. In this willingness, we, I've created a story where I am the victim of everything that happens in this office. Everything that happens wrong, I am the victim. So when my client comes in and says, I feel like at home I'm being, I'm not being hurt. Girl, I know what you're talking about. Because you're in the office and other clients like, okay, so it's not about me, it's about you. It's your session. Please pay me $250. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Everything making sense so far? Everybody good? How's your answers going? Good? Getting in there? All right, cool. This is good so far? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Because I'm a great actor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going. We got two more to go. Promise, we're almost done. And then we can start talking about our answers if you want to, and we can start. Oh, Krusha. P R O U S H A. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is blue mind. This is number 14. So in the mind, if you were able to experience another life, where would you like to live? What would you like to do? What era? What sex? Who are you in this other life? And I'll give you a minute with that one because that one seems a little important. So no, mind, the blue, Number 14, if you were able to experience another life, where would you like to live? What would you like to do? And you can go into eras, countries. Would we be ourselves? Or huh? Would we be ourselves? I mean, our, our own, like I'd be Eric or could I be another person? Gender, everything. Uh, you can change awesome. everything. You can change everything or nothing. You can, okay. Because I would be like, I am totally awesome. So if I go anywhere else, I'm going to be me. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to be awesome in another era. Yeah. So <laughs> would you change your hair? Yeah. Would you change your height? And 14 was mine. Yes. And if you want to read any of these, I'll pass them around. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then later on, if you're, if you really want to go back and trace over it, I'm I'm just videotaping me, uh, recording to the voice, and this I'll put this on my YouTube page, uh, without 
the commentary afterwards. This, this is just this part, mainly because I like to look at myself. So. And then you can go back and listen to it and figure out. Okay. What are you gonna name it? Uh, we don't know till the end. I've done three online episodes so far, and we don't have a name for them till the end because we don't know what cards are coming out or what it is. So I'm thinking that right now we're going towards like uh, identity or uh, our place at work or where you fall in the hierarchy. Because sometimes you may be at the top of the list, yet you feel like you're the inferior one. Does that make sense? There are certain things in the day where you're like, okay, nobody's listening to me. Nobody's doing what I need them to do. And I'll put you on the spot for that. Even though I am the boss, <laughs> like, I feel like I'm just walking in the door for the first time. Nobody's listening. Does that make sense? So we're trying to figure out why that feeling and how to take control of it. All right, who wants to do the last one? So this is the last one. This is oneness. And oneness is the last one because at this point in the game, you have come to yourself. You come back to you and figure out what's going on with you. Uh, so oneness is purple, number 35. If I stop to think about it, I have been abundantly blessed. Again, I think about it. If, if I stop to think about it, I have been abundantly blessed. And I'm going to pass these around so you guys can see them. And if you forget what order they're in, I'll pull up the picture. Thank you. If you have any questions with any, I mean, any questions with any other questions, let me know and I'll come around and. And at this point, I'm going to stop the recording.